the funeral of the last king of Yugoslavia. Peter II is receiving the honours he never could when he died in exile 43 years ago. His kingdom no longer exists, but he's being laid to rest at the family mausoleum in present-day Serbia, along with his wife, Queen Alexandria, his mother, Queen Maria, and his brother, Prince Andrew. Thousands of people have turned out for the memorial service near Belgrade, and the guests include members of most of the royal houses of Europe. It means a lot for Serbia, so the world can see that we're people who make mistakes, but we know penitence. Our royal family has finally found a place close to their ancestors. They can all be together now. Peter Karadjotjevic was 17 when he formally ascended the throne in March 1941. Eleven days later, Nazi Germany invaded Yugoslavia. The king fled first to Greece, then Egypt, Britain, France and finally the United States. After World War II ended, the communist regime of Josip Broz Tito abolished the monarchy and King Peter was never allowed back. It was only after a long campaign by his son, often referred to as Crown Prince Alexander, that his remains were flown back in January for the reburial. This is a big day for me, sad but solemn, filled with emotions, filled with personal memories. This is an historic moment for the royal family, but also for all the people and state of Serbia. King Peter was unprepared for the life of a commoner. Towards the end, he was working at a savings and loan association and selling his wife's jewels to make ends meet. He was also an alcoholic. Several decades after the collapse of communism, he's finally home, to be buried with all the regal pageantry he missed in life. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.